Hello, welcome back. Last time, I cleaned up every single thing that's alive except for one serpent way up on a ledge out of reach. And I'm ready to start the end game, I think. So the question is, how much money do I want to take with me? The answer to that is zero. And how much other stuff do I want to take with me? The answer to that is as many arrows as I can carry, I think. I could conceivably want some more axes. And I think one thing of axes and a bunch of... Well, maybe I should buy some moon water. Let's try buying one thing of moon water and all the arrows I can carry other than that. That ends up with 39. Sounds like enough. All right. And endgame gonna be complicated. I just kind of rushed it last time I did it. I'm gonna take my time much more now that I know a bit more about the game systems. So I think what happens here is I go jump in the pit at the bottom. I turn upside down. All the monsters that existed are replaced by revenants. Which, okay, so now here's a question. How does the skill ring? Uh, Reven killing a revenant gives me insight, but takes away experience and I'll be leveling down. However, it takes away less than a whole level at a time. So it will be profitable to do that. Hey, Runar. You're about to die. All right. So, I need to know how the skill ring interacts with revenant experience. Do, do I lose twice as much if I have the ring on? Or do I lose half as much? Maybe. I'm gonna just take it off and jump down here. So I have my- whoa! Okay, right, that was a scroll down. <laughs> I thought it was zipping upward suddenly. <laughs> okay, the fifth rune. The deep rune has revealed its true power at last. The path to the High Realm lies right before your eyes. Okay, hi, you're a revenant. Like a mini reaper. So minus eight. Minus eight, it does not interact. Okay, so I'm done with the skill ring for this phase of the game. So then, oh, this is completely different and fascinating. All right, so I won't be putting you back on again. I'm going to level down, which will not heal me. So the only way I'm healing is with this stuff, which is fine. All right, so I'm upside down, by the way. Oh, the traversal is different, of course. All right, I would like to... Well, no, hang on, that's not the only way I'll be healing. Okay, so first of all... Uh, ooh, wait, do I have MP? I don't. So I'm still gonna take damage and stuff from this. I'm gonna be at least one arrowing every one of these revenants, probably. 39 arrows might not be enough. I don't know how many there are, though. Okay, so Blood Ring... Is it one or two? It's two. So I lost eight experience. I did gain one insight, right? The other ring thing was... Moon ring was one, I think? Oh, but I'm sealed. Ah, so I'd probably rather have health. Unless I'm gonna do this without seal stuff, which I could do. That's fine. I'm not even taking hits. Oh, that doesn't make it. So this would, but this... W oh shoot, that's not what I want. It's fine. Okay, so... <laughs> this is complicated. So you hit, if I have my best shield on, 34. So if I kill uh, 17 of you, then I can take one hit with this. Okay. Plausible. Assuming I wear the blood ring for every one. That sounds fine. Alright, so let's follow this pattern. Hunting revenants, like, actually I can use a lesser sword since... Oh, no, I can't. 
No, I need a big sword. Okay. That's fine. I have, like, plenty of repair tools and stuff. Uh, getting some slowdown. I did the thing to fix it. Yeah, experience going down. That's fine. Alright, and calculating falls and stuff is weird. In 35. Alright, so I'm just gonna make an initial run here. I have my blood ring on, I'm doing my thing, just gonna deal with these all the exact same way. And see what happens. Oh, that's right, there is another way to heal. If I talk to Runar, he'll restore my everything, I think? Oh, my bow broke. That's fine, I can fix it. Level down, level 40. HP capacity went down, so I think I just wasted all those... Because... Yeah, full recovery. Oh, hold on, does that include MP? It probably does. Oops. Yeah! Oh, that complicates things so much. Okay, so again, this is an exploratory run. Well, what am I exploring, though? Well, no. I'm reloading. Uh, that is not what I want to reload. I want this. Okay, so I'll load this hard save. Um, do I think I really want that moon water? I don't know, I think arrows are actually going to be more valuable. Like, they're just so versatile. They're kind of ridiculously good. I still have a little bit of gold for healing if I want it. Okay, uh, don't think I need axes. Definitely don't need repair tools. I have plenty of those. Alright, so full load of arrows. By the way, troll cores can be used to dispel revenants. But then I don't get their insight, right? Let's try it, just to be sure. So they dispel trolls and they dispel revenants, and I think those... Oh, and... I wonder if they dispel my... Well, no, I can just use Disillusion for that. Yeah, so I think Revenant and Troll are the two types of creature that Troll Cores work on. I think I never used them in my original play. Because I wanted the experience, and I think that's going to be the same here, but I'll at least try and see what it... Oh, shoot, I meant to... Uh, well, I can't reset. All right, well, this is actually fine. This way I skip this animation. Because there's no reason to save at the top of the pit if I'm just going to jump down it. But save here. And I have my hard save for restoring if I want to make different purchase decisions. I do get their insight. And I don't lose the experience. Okay. Oh, that's fascinating. So in a room with one, I won't want to do that. I don't want my skill ring. I think now... So so now... Now everything's very complicated. That kills a revenant. And I think I'm okay with that. There's one in this room, so we're doing this and this. And I'm taking the runar recovery. Oops. Thank you. And now I have different options. Uh, hold on. If I'm taking the Runar recovery, there's a better way to do that. Two potential better ways. Would I rather have health or MP? Well, that's an obvious choice. Of course I want MP. Yeah, 10 MP is far more valuable than 8 health. Like, way, way more valuable. This is glowing now. Uh, I think it wasn't before. Okay, so here's you. I can backstab you, I believe. What do I desire to do? Okay, three revenants in here. Great tro troll cores, uh, candidate. Oh, shoot, I <laughs> didn't realize where I was walking. <laughs> right, I'm upside down, by the way, in case you hadn't noticed. Uh, can I backstab that one? You're also upside down. Ain't you fancy. 
Okay, so from there I can climb back there and backstab the other one, and I can backstab you from here. But there are three revenants in this room, so I would maybe rather troll course. Then that gets me access to Stagander. Maybe. So yeah, I'm not doing any mid-run saves here. Just gonna try and make good decisions and then live with them whether they're good or not. And maybe reload from the the actual start. I do want to kill every revenant, that is for sure. That doesn't quite get you. I definitely don't want to seal my MP. So therefore... yeah, this isn't enough. Oh, and also I can't take that off right now. Is flame brew enough? I think it is just... oh, it's... oh, 99 is the maximum amount of attack I can do in one hit. Oh, so I can never take you out in one hit. Okay, fair. So that means that's still arrow and... so that means backstabbing is of no interest. Oh, different kinda... oh. Fascinating. So multiple revenant types. My fist's enough for you. Sure. Okay, again, I want to kill every revenant that exists of every type. Uh, so if I am hitting you, then I probably want my fist from the back and the skull shield. That still kills me in two hits. Okay, there are options here. If I spend some MP... And what would I like to spend it on? Barrier is always a good choice, but there may be other good choices. Barrier only uses five. I'll have to do that twice before this makes sense, but I have a good place to do that twice, I think. All right, let's barrier twice. Now... Right, so I don't get a reward for killing you. I just get to keep my MP. Well, and I get the insight, of course, which is great. I'm leveled down, that's okay. Not a problem. Oh, the calculation's going to change. My insight's going up, my level's going down, therefore I am getting weaker relative to these. So yeah, things are going to be different. Alright, so I want to do roughly the same thing here with one change. So I've barriered, I'm down to 70 now. This means I can now... Ah, uh, check it out. I punch. I cast Barrier again, then I get some MP, because my health is full. I could also have spent some MP, but that doesn't quite make sense at the moment. Okay. And I get MP for this, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. So this is what it looks like. This is what I'm doing. I'm going to try in here and see what happens. I've very much been front-loading my Trollcore's use. I used it on a screen with two. When I inevitably reload, I probably won't do that because there are screens with three. There's probably enough screens with three that that's gonna be always what I wanna do. Okay, this is great. This, I will probably barrier for it. Zero here. Yeah, I mean, I don't need to think too hard about that. Like, this is what my MP is going toward, right? Just barrier casts. I don't think I'll do better than that. Soul Blast would be just as good and simpler. Well, hang on, I already have a barrier. <laughs> right. So don't do anything, but I am two from full, so don't fill up all the way by accident. Okay, you require a bow. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I forgot how things worked. Okay, so now if I hit you twice with a great sword, it would just barely not kill you. 
Unless if one of them was with a power ring on. Let's just do that, actually. So one with a power ring. I take the damage. Do I want to take that much damage? Yes, because if I blood ring just a little bit, then I can get back up to the threshold where I won't take damage. Okay, so we're, we're balancing blood ring and moon ring. This kills you, this gives me some health. Okay, this is fascinating. This feels completely different from how this was the first time, now that I, like, I know my goal. Get lots of insight. And I know how to work with the systems to make that make sense. Yeah, I just feel like I barely interacted with the end game before. Uh, since I can punch these, I don't think I'm gonna troll cores in this room, even though it's a three room. There might be some four rooms around. So I need to get to 47, which this will do. Then I can take you down without doing anything additional. Shoot, I'm hitting you with swords. Not what I want. I thought those numbers looked kind of big. There we go. All right, I do want to hit you with a sword though, and a this. Or have I leveled down too much for this to work? Oh, that's a critical. I don't even need this. So I will keep the... I don't want to blood my way back up to this. I want the moon ring at this point. Because I'll be barriering for pretty much the rest. I, I just want to punch. Punch is more than good enough. Okay. Now keep it on this screen to, to look at that MP. I can cast Barrier whenever I feel like it. I probably will feel like it very soon, like in this room. Punch, punch. Uh, when I have a tough choice, I probably will quick save because other than some troll cores use, I'm pretty happy with this and I could just reload to the... Oh shoot, I had the wrong ring on. No, I didn't. Why did my HP go up? Oh, because I cast a spell. Right, I'm Osmond. Okay, <laughs> that took me a moment to puzzle out. <laughs> I forgot who I was. All right. Cool, so I am healing then. All right. So maybe I am blooding my way back up to 47. Okay. Well, or maybe I'm casting Barrier my way back up to 47. That works too. Maybe. I probably won't get there before I run out. We'll see. So, because of who I am, I think then that means... See, this is way more interesting than just wearing the skill ring for absolutely everything. I'm glad I get to interact with the game systems a bit more now than I than I did then, you know, on the, the run up to here. But yeah, endgame, this is, this is good. Three in a room, but I have backstabs on two of them? So when I can't backstab and there are three ultra troll cores... Is probably how this will end up working. So cast, punch, punch. Cast, punch, punch. Level down, that's fine probably. So you, I want to power shoot. However, that's not going to be enough ultimately. My bow broke, I'll fix it. So then if I great sword, that is not enough for you. But I could flame brew. Oops, uh, that's fine. Which I think I probably. W oh, I'd have to flame brew power ring. Because with moon ring, flame brew is not quite enough. And I'm not ready to seal my MP. All right, I will take the loss of two MP, and I will power ring flame brew you, and that takes you down. Okay. Uh, yeah, again, I can reload from the whatever. Um, why am I quick saving now? 
I guess I can load this and reset the room and undo some of those decisions that were very questionable. Do I hurt here when I fall? No. Okay, so for you, I'm gonna have to arrow twice or seal my MP. I can't really get here to get to your back. You, I just want a bow. And nothing special about it. How's my MP? 50? Alright. I mean, I can two barrier kill you. Maybe that's the way to go. Yeah! I have a lot of dead friends. I probably ha have enough MP to just do stuff like this. Uh, wait, and if I'm doing that, which weapon do I want to use? Dagger's enough. And then... F actually, is fist enough? Look, I really gotta avoid breaking this dagger. Fist is enough. <laughs> Uh, and Skull Shield's not taking hits because I my, my barrier is. And I'm wearing the appropriate. Yes, okay. Oh, this is so cool. It just feels a lot better understanding the systems now. Uh, don't go through that door. Well, I, I can't from here. Okay. Because, yeah, the first time I did this, I just, like zipped right up and killed her. Oh, I've committed to something. That's fine. I can divine passage and I have to because otherwise I'm going nowhere. Right? That's fine. Worth it. I have the MP. Again, I have a lot of dead friends. I kind of need to go back down. I will. I just haven't yet, but I will. Uh, this gives me opportunity to shoot you in the back, which I guess I'll take. 59 arrows. Yeah, I have, like, a lot of arrows. 59. That's how many. Sure. Uh, I could shoot you in the back. Do I prefer that to doing it in the front? No, I don't. But I'll note that in case I decide I do later. Um, I could fall down that place, but I would take a lot of damage. I don't think I want to. Do I know what's above me there? I, mm, off the top of my head, not exactly. But my guesstimate's good enough for me. That's the moon room, not where I want to be. I'm starting to doubt that I'll get this endgame done in one episode. We'll see, though. Because this was mostly just, like, Cave of Origin... I'm not even halfway done with the Cave of Origin, am I? I might be. But there's, like, a lot more zones to go. How's my insight? 162. Pretty good. Uh, yes, this is the way I want to go, I think. Right, because I have to follow a different route on the way out here. That's fine. This gets me there. So yeah, here's a dead friend with an MP refill. An HP refill, too. So Runar first. Sagander second. I want to just barrier, punch, barrier, punch, punch, I think. Sounds right to me. the right ring on. Mm -hmm. Soon I might be able to take some HP damage. But first Stagander's gonna do a thing for me, probably. I don't think this will add up that way. Well... You have less health. You're a lower level. Hold on, I might be able to do better than that. I am. Uh, Longsword does 45, so I'm one short of being able to kill you with a longsword and a other thing. That's fine. I'll just double greatsword. Sure.
stuff like this, the way these vines are, makes a lot more sense when you know the game will turn upside down eventually. Yeah, because the first time I did this, I didn't know that I wanted insight, so I avoided as many fights as I could. So that was just a very different experience than this. So double great sword, like that. You get shot, like that. Still have 56 arrows, like that's plenty. This could be a Trollcore's room, because I'm not... There are three, and I'm not backstabbing any of them. Am I? No, I don't think so, right? Because I can't get around that way, can I? Not directly, so no. Okay. So the only inefficiency that I'm pretty sure I regret is using one of these on a room with two. Other than that, I think I'm happy with everything that's happened here. So I'm gonna save. Since I'm already committed to the, the part that's not so great. Level's down to 39, but insight's up to 171. Yeah, that's far outpacing the, the level loss. You're a high level, so yeah, no easy good backstabbing you. It's fine. I'll do it as if I'm fighting you from the front, but without a weapon, so that's still a little better. I like that noise. It's a good noise. Getting down here looks hard. Let's see what's there. Oh, I'm actually out of MP. Okay, so I, I saved. This is experimental. I just want to know if there's anything of interest here. Yes, there is. Okay. So there definitely is. However, I might be able to get to that from the other side. I can just walk around here again. Although... Hmm. Do I want to interact with Stagander? Can I just kill one more thing? Because then I... Well, no, because I'm spending barrier on it. And my health isn't high enough to... Hmm. Okay, I don't want to use moon water there. So we're doing this the slow way. My fast travel buddies... Aren't around now, right? Right, they're gone. I mean, I could take the Stagander heal now. I'm not absolutely sure it's too early. But I feel like I could squeeze more out of my current resources. Let's try. Because, yeah, if I'm taking it, I might as well at least barrier kill you. There's you there. This room here. I'm interested in going both directions. Uh, yes, that is what I wanted. Oops, I punched you instead of doing the other thing. So I might be within range of... Oh, that doesn't kill you. Okay, you're level 54. You are level 54. All right, I leveled down too much. I thought I might be in range of something, of uh, golding my way to an HP threshold in order to take a hit, and then the Stagander heal will be efficient. So maybe I'll accept this and put on the... Actually, yeah, I can Eclipse now and take you down in two. Okay. Therefore, I would rather have health. Okay, so I'm at 35. I need to be at how much? Well, they've gotten stronger, so the number's changed, probably. I can backstab you, but that doesn't kill you quite. 
So that's a level 48. Still over 100 HP, so I can't quite do a good thing to you. So there's gonna be two hits no matter what. Um, this is a good backstab spot. I guess I just arrow punch, probably. And get your health. So... Hang on, wait, so you do how much to me? Zero? Wait, no, why do you do zero? Oh, that's interesting. It calculates it as if I'm doing more than 99 damage, right? No, wait, what? You don't get to counterattack me? No, you did, and you did exactly 34 damage. Okay, so it looks like the preview window here doesn't take into account the clamping of the maximum amount of damage I do. I take 34, even though it didn't tell me about it, but that's the perfect amount for this. What resource do I want? Nothing. Because I'm talking to Stagander immediately after this. So nothing I wear here matters at all. I'll wear the spirit ring. Okay. So now, taking the heal, because my HP is at 1, my MP is at 0, this is the perfect time. Great. Alright, well... This is a much more involved process than the first time, so we're gonna be here for a bit, clearly. I have a full recovery, I of course wanted MP rather than HP, so this is correct. Okay, so making my way back up slowly while hunting down absolutely everything is what we're doing now. But I have some stuff down in the corner, so I'm not even done with the Cave of Origin. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a long process, but I love it. This is just a completely different game mode than anything I've experienced before. Alright, I'll see you next time to keep hunting.